Hi everybody, so today I'm going to open up, test, and give my review on the Hamilton Beach Bebe, which is a baby food maker that's a 5-in-1. It uh, steams, chops, shreds, slices, and purees, apparently, with ease. And it's got 10 baby food holders that are BPA-free, freezer-friendly, and uh, dishwasher-safe. So. It sounds good. I got it for a really good price and I'm going to uh, open it up and see what's inside. So let's see. Okay. So inside the box we have the baby food maker manual. We have recipes, tips, and inspiration book. Slicer Shredder Disc. This looks like the top, similar to like a juicer. Here is the basket, the cup food holder section. Okay, here's the actual unit itself. Okay, and this thing, don't know what that is yet. Ah, and the stacking baby food containers, and it's nice and easily stacked, which I like because I'm running out of room with all these gadgets I'm collecting in my kitchen. And that's it. All right, so I'm going to clean it all up, read the instructions. Okay, so I have now washed some vegetables and I'm gonna do sweet potatoes and chopped them up into little bits. And I've discovered that I really, really, really hate peeling and cutting sweet potatoes. <laughs> I'd much rather just stick them in the oven and uh, when they get out, just scoop out the stuff and then puree it then, than rather deal with this hard stuff because it's really hard and starchy. So that's lesson number one for me, is I don't like that. And I've washed all these little parts that come with it. This, you put the water inside there, so I washed inside there. I washed all the, came with 10 baby food um, containers, so I washed that too. And now I am going to try the recipe for the spicy sweet potato, only I'm not adding spices because my guys are just six months, so I'm just gonna make a plain old sweet potato, see if they like it. And I'm gonna follow the directions, exactly what I, it says. I've never done this before, so stick with me. All right. Here we go. So it says pour two thirds cup water into water reservoir and cover it. I'm pouring into the water reservoir of the main unit. Okay. And I'm covering it up with this thing here. Wow, this is super fidgety. There we go. Okay, I had it the wrong way. Now I put this processing bowl on and turn to lock it, which it is now locked. So the handle, I guess, faces the front. And steaming basket goes in. Steaming basket. Okay. And we put the chopper in. And we put this blade 
and it says to put the slice side facing up. Okay. So now I guess we get the lid. Put the lid on, lock it, and we've got this here that goes in the top. And so now it's just a matter of plugging it in and putting in the veggies. Of course the plug cord is like not even like two not even two feet long. So that means I gotta move this. Okay, bear with me. Okay, I've moved it over to a close plug. And now we've got our sweet potato all set. That says Turn it on. That's annoying. Seriously? Okay, we got one piece in. I think I'm going to have to re all these. I'm gonna have to re-chop these into smaller bits. Let's just see what it looks like so far. Okay. So, it's chopped it up into little tiny, thin little slices. So that's pretty good. I'm not impressed with the fact that I have to chop up my sweet potato even to even smaller sizes because I've already discovered that I don't like doing it. It's hard. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to chop these up and I'll be right back. Okay, I filled it. I've chopped up all... This is one sweet potato and it's filled it up right up to the brim. So I wouldn't be able to do any more than one medium-sized sweet potato to fill up this steamer part. So that's strike two. Hey buddy. Okay, I'll come get ya. Alright, I'm here with Mr. No Naps. Actually, they both didn't nap today. So, oops. Let's turn that around. Let's get that lid back on. Okay, lid back on. And then we turn it on to steam. Okay. So the light is on and it's now steaming and we're supposed to steam it until the light turns off. So let's try that. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes. The light on the steamer button has turned off, which means that it should be done. And touching this, it's very, very hot, except for this handle. So, I mean, not very, very hot, but hot enough that we well, don't want to touch it for too long. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so now I'm going to put the lid on it and make it into a puree. And... I'm with baby number two. Say hi, buddy. Mom of twins, you're always doing something with having a baby in one hand, at least one, maybe two. Okay, putting the lid on, locking it, and let's see, we turn it. Oh. Just to pour some of the liquid in. So I'm gonna do it here. To get it 
consistency that I like. So I can end up for a little bit. Um, it also says you can add fresh milk to formula. So it looks like it makes a pretty good amount. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, looks nice and smooth. So it looks, looks good. Yeah, nice and smooth. I think that turned out pretty good. So, last but not least, I'm gonna put it into the baby food containers and we'll see how much uh, food we got out of one sweet potato. Okay, so I scooped it into these jars that came with the unit itself and I got five full baby food jars or almost full of the sweet potato puree. So there's some hits and let's see, let's turn this around. Boop. Okay, so there's some hits and misses that I find with this uh, product. The hits are that it's easy to use, you can put it all into one unit, it's dishwasher safe and microwave safe and it purees uh, really, really nice and smooth. Like I just had a couple of spoonfuls full and it's really nice and smooth. Um, and it does it pretty quickly. The misses with it are the fact that this is so small that you have to chop up the vegetables or fruits very, fairly small, which is time consuming. Um, and it I also think that just using a regular, uh, just steaming the vegetables itself and then using a hand blender would probably just be just as easy. And another miss is that I was only able to use one medium sized sweet potato. And yes, it did make a good amount of food, but when, since I have twins, I would like to do double, like, triple, quadruple batches and freeze a whole bunch. And it seems like I wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, unless I do it several times over and over again. And that probably wouldn't take that much time. So I probably will end up keeping this and using it quite often. Um, but I wouldn't say run out and grab it. One last hit that I think but I can't say for sure is going to be really good is that when they be they're able to use their hands for hand feeding, so they're wanting to use finger foods, this unit shreds it and chops it and slices into nice little tiny uh, little bite-sized pieces perfect for little toddler hands. So I think in the future this thing's going to come in really handy because I'll just be able to shove a vegetable in here and it'll shed it up all nice and perfect for little fingers to eat. So that's my review. Um, I wouldn't say run out and get it. Go get yourself a hand blender and just use the regular old steamer method. All in all, it's an okay product. I will use it, but don't recommend to go and buy it. But if somebody buys it for you, awesome. Okay, thank you for watching, bye.